Hi there. So I've recently finished reading these two books by a guy called Anthony Peak. First one is this one called Is There Life After Death? The Extraordinary Science of What Happens When We Die. And his other book is called The Daemon, A Guide to Your Extraordinary Secret Self. You got that? Good. Basically what um, Anthony Peak says, and he is an atheist by the way, despite the uh, name of the book, Is There Life After Death, is he, he basically says that it's impossible to die. And the way he goes about this is his entire theory is based upon a, neuro, a certain neurotransmitter in the brain called glutamate. Now what this, now what he says this particular chemical in the brain does is it causes our perception of time to, to slow down dramatically and he uses a lot of science and a lot of uh, sort of scientific facts I mean it's all entire, entirely rational and based in, in relatively hard science and quantum mechanics and things like that and he basically his idea is quite sort of out there it's quite radical but basically he says that when when you die instead of you know just nothing happening or instead of going to heaven or hell or, or whatever what actually in fact happens to us is we are reborn we we live our entire lives again you know it's not like reborn in a um, kind of buddhist you know rebirth or some sort of reincarnation sort of way but he basically says that we are our lives as we live it now is actually started from scratch you know, we actually start again as it were now the way he, he goes about explaining this and he uses a lot of um, pages arguing science and um, you know referring quoting various scientific sources which say this but the way it basically works is this now he says Anthony Peake says that at the moment of our death this chemical gets released in massive amounts you know our entire brain is flooded with this chemical which causes us to experience severe time dilation almost to the point where time pretty much stops and at that moment in that millisecond before you die you live your entire life again now on the surface that seems a little bit you know a bit you know, sort of pseudo scientific a little bit um, weird but I'm actually quite surprised that he's, he's managed to in a sense almost convince me of this really um, just the way he, he he uses a lot of sort of anecdotal evidence and a lot of um, you know evidence from people, from personal experiences, and you know as well as science. And he also uses um, he talks a lot about near death experiences and what people experience when they have a so called near death experience. You know things such as um, uh, you know like seeing a white bright white light and hovering above your body and and there's quite an, an interesting phenomenon which has been reported by near-death experience or people that have had near-death experiences where they've said that you know they have actually their life has flashed before their eyes and you know which is similar to in you know like movies and things like that where the hero just as he's about to die has a sudden a sudden flashback from his past or from his childhood or something, and for Anthony Peake, this works in a similar way, or death works in a similar way. Instead of actually, you know, at death having, you know, your your life flash before your eyes in you know a millisecond, it will literally be a minute by minute, second by second reliving of your life as you knew it which is, you know, it makes a great sort of, um, you know, it creates a great metaphysical problem there, you know, of, of um, you know, are we all in some sort of matrix now, you know, am I dreaming, you know, have I already lived this life, and am I actually sort of dead, or am I actually in, you know, in reality, am I like 80 years old or something on my 
deathbed, you know, breathing in my um, final breath, experiencing this glutamate flood. And one of the one of the, the fascinating ways I found, which he um, he actually uses to sort of or one of the pieces of evidence that he gives for this is um, he talks a lot about um, temporal lobe epileptics and how when they have a seizure like a severe seizure um, small amounts of this glutamate um, this glutamate chemical is released in their brains and the experiences that these temporal lobe epileptics have reported have been strikingly similar to people who have had near-death experiences, you know, the experiences and things that um, they have said, such as the, the time dilation and things like that. Um, I mean, it's been said that a lot of temporal lobe epileptics only have, you know, the seizure only lasts for maybe 20, 30 seconds, but to them, it literally feels like a lifetime, or it literally feels like a very, very long time, like weeks. Or months. He also talks about deja vu and says that deja vu literally is what we think it is. It because you know, people don't know deja vu is when you um, you see something that you recognise even though you've never seen it before. You know, it's like a, you think, oh, I've had that feeling that I've I've seen them before, or I've been in this place or situation before. And for Anthony Peake, this actually is a memory of our past life, or it's a memory of this life that we have already lived before. He rejects quite a lot of the sort of psychological, um, or a lot of the various psychological interpretations of deja vu and what what it is in favour of this um, theory that deja vu is actually a memory of our life that we've already lived. I mean, this, this, this video will be too short for me to go into great detail about his theory and great detail about how how it works and how it, it doesn't work in my opinion but the interesting thing I found about it was that he brings together a lot of evidence and a lot of things that we can all understand and experiences that we've all had and he, he sort of mixes it into this theory and makes it um, seem very Incredible, and it's it's also been scientifically proven that time is relative. You know, Einstein proved as much with his e equals m c you know, e equals m c squared. He proved that light, um, sorry, um, time is relative to the individual that's perceiving it. I mean, there's been there's been many many occasions when I have experienced what I would call time dilation you know, under, and a lot of people have said that. In extreme amounts of you know, in extreme stress, they just have felt like time has just slowed down or time has just stopped. You know, people that have been in car crashes and things like that have, have basically reported that that time to them just went really slow, and that's because in these extremely stressful times, glutamate gets released in the brain. And I mean, I, I remember last night, for example, I had um. A dream which to me lasted at least an hour or so but it turns out that I'd only actually been asleep for about five minutes ten minutes if that and I went over when I woke up I went over in my head everything that I did in my dream because I keep a dream diary so I write down everything that happened and there's no way that in reality that dream would have lasted less than five minutes you know there's just no way I mean for me to have done everything that I did in this dream would have taken me at least 30 minutes at least 40 minutes really and but it turns out that as far as like objective time went it had only actually been five minutes I'd only actually been asleep for five minutes so yeah I advise that you check him out Anthony Peake especially this book I've not really I've not really had time to go into this book the Damon that's something for another day but, um, yeah, I suppose it's a bit of a misleading title, really. Is there life after death? Because, according to his theory, you don't actually ever reach the point of death. So, you don't actually ever die. 
So I just thought it was a very interesting um, explanation, sort of an alternative explanation, which is entirely rational and entirely atheistic. You know, there's no religion or there's no um, kind of, sort of metaphysics involved in it. And so, yeah.